Hello and welcome to this demonstration where I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own tokens and tokenized assets on top of the IOTA network with the help of colored coins. For today's presentation I'm going to use the Pollen testnet. First we will need a wallet to communicate with the network. I'm going to use the Pollen wallet which you can find on GitHub. On the right hand side of my screen you can see my Pollen wallet which already has some IOTAs preloaded. To create a new token, simply hit the Create Asset button. Here you can specify the name, the symbol and the amount of tokens to be created. Well, let's tokenize this really promising company I just learned about. As soon as I hit the OK button, my IOTA balance is decremented. Those thousand IOTAs will be colored with this color to represent Wen Moon Company shares. Let's take a look at how this looks like on the protocol level. Here I have a GoShimmer node dashboard which runs in the Poland nest testnet. If you look at this message, which contains a transaction as a payload, we can see that it spends regular IOTA tokens and creates 1000 new colored coins with this color, which is the same as we have in our wallet, and also spends the remaining funds back to the original address or original wallet. Now notice that the transaction ID is the same as the color. This is to make sure that the color is a unique attribute no one else will be able to create the very same color and the very same tokens again. So when I have these colors in my wallet, what can I do with them? Well, I can do basically anything I can with an IOTA token. I can, for example, send them around. To send them somewhere, I will need an address. For this purpose, I have a command line wallet on the left hand side. First, let's get the address of this wallet. I'm going to send 500 of the company tokens there. But just before I hit OK, I want to show you that this wallet is completely empty. I can already see the pending transaction here and it shouldn't take too long before it is confirmed. Status is OK, so we can conclude that the transfer has been confirmed. We have 500 colored IOTA balance, color being the Van Moon Company share color. And you might wonder why the token name is not displayed here. It is because in current testnet implementation, the symbol and the name attributes are only stored locally in the wallet. In the future, there can be a registry service where you can map colors to any other metadata. Anyway, let's send back these tokens to the original wallet. To send stuff with the command line wallet, I will have to specify first an amount then a color and finally a destination address. I'm just going to just copy the receive address from here. As you can see funds are sent. We see the 250 pending balance here and soon it shall be confirmed. It is confirmed, yes. So, if you look at it, we have 750 Wen Moon Company tokens in the original Pollen wallet, and we have 250 in the Common Line wallet. So the total supply is still 1000. That is, because we didn't have to pay any transaction fees to manage these tokens. That's it for today, and I'm really excited to learn about what tokens you can create 
and how you want to utilize them. Bye-bye.